Hey everyone, Victor is here and in this video I want to go over this interesting synthesis where we are starting with a simple benzene and we are going to end up with this bicyclic structure over here featuring the vinyl halide. If you want to think about the synthesis independently, pause this video now because I am about to go into my preliminary analysis. So obviously we'll need to add this whole part to our molecule and this means that we are going to be looking looking at making two new carbon-carbon bonds. And while there are a lot of different ways how we can assemble this bicyclic skeleton, probably the most straightforward one is going to be a classic tetralon synthesis. The alpha tetralon synthesis is a well-known synthetic procedure which takes the benzene, which I have over here, reacting it with the gamma butyrolactone, this species, in the presence of the Lewis catalyst, typically that's going to be aluminum chloride, and as a result we are going to get our tetralone. And the cool part about this reaction is that it gives us the product in just one synthetic step. So we have the tetralone, cool. What's next? Well, we need to take this portion of our molecule and convert the carbonyl into the corresponding vinyl halide by replacing the oxygen atom over here with the chlorine and creating a double bond over here. And here I'm going to bring another reaction which we don't typically cover in an intraorganic chemistry course, but it is a good reaction to add into your synthetic arsenal. If we treat the ketones with phosphorus pentachloride, we are going to end up with the corresponding geminal dihalide, dichloride in this case. The reaction is kind of nasty because working with PCL5 is, well, never fun, but it generally gives good yields and you don't have to do a bunch of steps to get to this point. And now, once we have our geminal dihalide, we can do a simple elimination reaction using some sort of a base, and I'm using just sodium hydroxide here because why not, and that going to give us our double bond and we're done. Now, what did you think about this synthesis? Would you be able to make it happen if you didn't know the reactions that I've introduced in this video? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching. If you like this video, boop the like button and subscribe for more organic chemistry awesomeness. Check out this video next and I'll see you next time.